Oh, we got some anime avatars. Y'all didn't see that. Let's see who's gonna be. Love this music. I love this Street Fighter V music. Always gets me pumped, always gets me hyped. This game is so great. How's it going, Ham? Ladies and gentlemen, Ham, coming in, bring my commentating partner. What is up, everyone? Are you got you can't you gotta be kidding me? You gotta be kidding me! No way! I'm sorry, I cannot keep this contained. We are back to back, Abigail Mers. All day. What what have I done that's been so like? What have I done that's so good to to deserve this, Ham? What, what, what have I done? This is so good. I love it. Here we go. Back in action. Cover, no, bu no cor button checks. <laughs> Cobra Tango, Corpus Christi, let's go. Oh, Cobra Tango representing the Corpus. Coming all the way from South Texas here to come and stand Japan. He knows where it's at. Ooh, full jumping combo. Oh, no. Coming with the cross up. Continuing the finish. Yes, right. Okay. Command grab. Yeah. Oh, he does it anyway. Damn, that is the wonderful beauties of having a two bar V trigger. You get up, beat a little bit, boom. The switch it. is flipped. Here we go. And is he going to take advantage of this armor? Oh, Ooh, guard crush. Oh, that damage. That is a great, that is a great reset. He knew that the guard crush scales so heavily that he'd rather go for the reset. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice overhead there. Round two. All right, we got round two. Let's hop onto it. I need Cobra Tango to step it up. Crush counter, mid-air, super combo. Yada, 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 punching bag. Looks so crazy, that graphic. Nice setup. He drops it. Beautiful. Now he's glowing red. He's hot and he's angry. It's almost like he walked outside <laughs> for a couple minutes, huh? What do you think? Yeah, definitely. Ooh, guard oh. crush into a combo. Beautiful. Do it again. Oh, yes. Yes, that's right. We got those. Now, that is not a lot of damage, but the screen positioning is absolutely superior in this situation. This is why you want to do it back into the throw. Absolutely fantastic. Bad gear showing what's going on with his Abigail, Abigail knowledge. I actually play this character, by the way. You do? You play this? Yeah. We got what? Yeah, I might even pick him up here, depending mm. on what I play. Mm. A lot of bad matchups. So though. interesting. I love it. What's he gonna happen? What is it? Did he hit rematch? I didn't even see. He plays Akuma, by the way, also. He does. Yeah. He I'll does, does he? Because maybe that's where he's going for. Is he going to top tier? Yeah, he's going to top tier. Yeah. That's right. I called it. Absolutely, that's right. Red Bull Akuma. Hey, but he has no life. Nah, it doesn't matter. Nah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Akuma is so oppressive in this situation that it's a, it's a clear disadvantage. But you're right, the Abigail health, the, the damage does kind of tip the scales in some favor. But as long as you know what to look out for, where to go, where not to be is the most important thing, you should be okay. That's the thing, though, should be okay. But let's see it. Let's see what he knows. Fireball. Fireball? All right. Yeah, he knows. He knows. That's, not, that's not the worst answer. Ooh. Look at that trade-off. Good anti-air attempt. He'll take the trade. Oh, nice setup there. Jumping in. That's right. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Could have done something. There's a great escape from the throne. Now, as you can see, he's playing entirely cautious, picking his spots, throwing the meaties in there. And that's where Abigail is at his worst, in the corner taking meaties. Ooh. Next match, round two. Very convincing. <laughs> Very convincing round one. Round two. It's, it's, gonna, it's gonna be interesting to see how Mad Gear adapts to the situation. In the last four or five games, he's just been playing Abigail players. Now he's gotta worry about a fireball? Forget about it. Oh, look at that Dude. Oh, nice answer. That was, that. that was a fantastic answer. No follow-up, unfortunately, but that's still okay. He doesn't cancel into V-Trigger. Very, very, very costly mistake. Yeah, that's a good one. Chooses to spend his super meter wisely. I'll agree with that. I'll do it. Use your super to kill Akuma. Why not? <laughs> Why not? But now he has a super, though. Final round. Let's see. M match point. Mad gear. I would love to see an anti-air super. 
Ooh. My wish almost came true. Oh, he gets hit. Tied it up. Koba's got to put on the pressure. He's got to make this game look exactly... Oh, my oh. goodness. Input error? Question mark? Oh, okay, that's all you can do, but yeah. What was that? <laughs> That was interesting. I actually think he got away pretty clean with that. I think that was uh, he could, that could have been a lot worse with the punish. But now he has V-Trigger. Still not losing. He's still in this game. FADC right there, you saw that? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh, double fireball pressure. Works so good on big body characters. So close to stun. Is he going to go for throw? I think he should go for throw. Oh, he would have been throw. He would have been fine. Ooh, yes. With the shimmy. Is this going to kill? It is. 1-0. 1-1. Koba Tango showing signs of life, putting it on the board. Akuma wins. Uh, what would Magir do about that? I don't know. It didn't seem that bad, right? It didn't seem. It didn't honestly seem that it was such a such a horrible, horrible situation to be. You just gotta pick your spots. You gotta know your spacing. You gotta know when not to go in, where to be. That's all of what. That's so much important of what this game is and all fighting games, right? Superior spacing, superior neutral. Let's see here. Ooh, there we go. You see how he is, right? This is a complete repeat of round one. Picking his spots, waiting for him to, to make a mistake so he can capitalize and punish off it. Now he's already at half health. Stun bar is, is piling up. Block the sweep, make it safe, but here we go. Backdash out of there. Super safe. Stayed in for the guard crush. Oh, nice. And he's just wasting his timer. It's gone. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore, right? That's what he, that's what he wants you to think. Again, again. Oh. Ooh, he's up DP. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Hard in my chest. <laughs> yes, crush counter. Match point, Cobra Tango. He's doing it. He's making it. He's coming back. After the switch to Akuma, it seems all but clear. Madgear's gonna have to step it up. He's gonna have to really shake it out, bust out that diesel truck, that monster truck. Broom, broom. He's coming in. He's definitely Ooh. in the spots right there. Yeah. I like that. Oh, in case he can, he has the armor. He's gotta stop jumping. He's, he's making it clear that uh, he cannot jump in on the Kuma. Sometimes just, just block. Just block. There we go. Is, it, is that going to combo? Yes, Ooh, it nice. does. Ooh, he misses it. No finish. Ooh, that and Mickey was cross up. I didn't think that was going to cross up. I would have gotten hit by that, honestly. <laughs> All right, here we go. Mad Gear, another point on the board. Round point. Both cat, both players. Who do you like? Let's Who go. do you got? Will Kopis prevail? I don't know. Mm, the pressure. Both both characters are near super. Is he going to use it? He does. Uses it early. I agree with that. Why not? DP? Oh. <laughs> oh. Too risky. Medium Fierce works. Oh, that's oh, it. Oh, the stun. He just couldn't get him. So oppressive. So oppressive. Good job. Give it up, Cobra Tango, everybody. What's up, Eric? <laughs> beautiful. Absolutely beautiful.